Hello YouTube, welcome to another video by the Geo Scholar. For this video, the object right ahead will be the focus of this video. In front of me we have a spherical representation of the Earth, known as a globe. It is quite fitting that globe comes from the Latin word globus, meaning sphere. Fitting because that is what the Earth basically is. Obviously, there are a lot of differences between maps and globes. We'll get into that in a moment, but the earliest mention of a globe is the Globe of Crates by Strabo. Strabo was a, ge was a Greek geographer. He mentioned the earliest globe ever created. The earliest known globe ever created was created by Crates of Malice. He was a Greek philosopher. He was with this. He was with the philosophical school of Stoicism, you know, Stoic philosophy. He created the first known globe. Strabo mentioned it. Now we are going to get into this thing about globes versus maps. Now a map. You have this right here. This map having a representation of the Earth on a flat surface. This flat surface has a lot of distortion, as you can see here. Basically, you're taking, you're taking the Earth and trying to represent it on something flat. You're taking a surface that is spherical and try to represent it on a very flat plane. Whereas with this globe, you don't get distortion. And the reason you don't get distortion with globes is because the Earth is a sphere. Contrary to what people who subscribe to the Flat Earth Theory would try to say, the Earth is round. And this is why you don't see distortion with globes. In fact, look at Greenland. Greenland on this globe versus Greenland on the map. Greenland looks huge on this map, but it looks closer to size on this globe. To sum this all up, the globe is the only representation of the Earth that doesn't have any distortion. It's the only representation of the Earth where for the most part, the countries, the oceans, the land masses, it keeps its shape. And you have to consider why that is. It has everything to do with what you're trying to represent and how you're trying to represent it. Hope you like this video. Be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.